Bon di calcio mercato guys, Monday, June the 19th, lots to look over, let's talk about it right away, the big elephant in the room, what is happening with these Saudi and Arabian teams, they are simply trying to buy everybody, throwing a ton of money at everybody, and it seems like it's working, why, because not a lot of people are saying no, it's crazy, but not a lot of players are saying no right now, Ronaldo said yes, Benzema said yes, okay, Messi said no, but guys, uh, Kante is about to sign. They apparently bought Ruben Neves for 55 million euros from, uh, from Wolverhampton. Uh, he is set to join. Koulibaly, Chelsea said no to Inter for the loan. Why? Because apparently he's moving to Saudi Arabia. Lots of money for him. I think like 50 million euros a season for him. Unbelievable. Mendy is close to signing for them as well. Uh, we talked about Kante. They're trying to get... Uh, Brozovic from Inter, apparently there's going to be an offer, an official offer for Brozovic. Will he say yes? That's another question. But they're trying to get everybody. And so uh, the only player besides Messi so far who has said no, or that we know that has said no, is Lukaku. So apparently he doesn't want to join them. He wants to stay at Inter. That's his dream. That's his wish. Inter, Chelsea trying to work something out. Will it happen? We'll see. They said no to the loan for the first offer. But they're trying to work something out. I think uh, Lukaku off the books for Chelsea is a good thing. And the Lukaku version at Inter is a good thing also for Inter. So we'll see what happens. Speaking of Chelsea, guys, uh, negotiations with Arsenal. They're moving forward for Kai Harvest. Uh, Arsenal uh, deem, deem him an important part for the project uh, for the future. Chelsea willing to let him go for the right amount of money. We'll see what happens there. But it seems like it's moving in the right direction. Uh, more Premier League news, Kyle Walker, who recently won the Champions League with Manchester City, apparently is going to join Bayern Munich. The deal is not official yet, but it's going very well, and they see him as a great reinforcement for next season. Um, I think his time at Chelsea, at uh, Manchester City is done, uh, won everything this season. So moving on, could be a good thing for his career. Uh, Juventus news, guys, Di Maria becoming a free agent at the end of uh, June, right, is maybe going back to Benfica. Now, he is a free agent. He has a high salary, yes. But Benfica, since they don't have to pay a penny to buy him, is definitely interested in bringing him back. And he would maybe like to go back as well. Zaniolo, Zaniolo is always on the top of Juventus' wish list. So it's been going on for uh, months. Them, Milan, name them. All these teams in Italy, they all want Zaniolo, but nothing ever gets done. Well, if Chiesa leaves, guys, he might actually join Juve. Why Chiesa? Because apparently um, they're not offering him a renewal to the amount of money that he wants. And it's a bit of the Dybala situation all over again, right? They're not sure with, of, of his health conditions. Yes, he scored with Italy. But Juventus, not too sure, guys. And they're talking about 30, 40 million for Chiesa. Not sure if that's real. Uh, that to me seems low, at least compared to what he was a few seasons ago. But yes, injuries have brought his price down. Uh, we'll see what happens there. Uh, Milan side, they uh, counterbought Colombo, right? Lecce exercised their buying option, Milan buying him back. Uh, they're looking at Hulman and Tamedze for the uh, Centrocampo. Two interesting names. Uh, I think Hulman would be uh, my preference between the two. Uh, they're still talking with Villarreal for Chukwaze for the right-hand side. Pusilic still a possibility as well. Uh, but we'll see, guys. Right now, Milan's Calcio Mercato is on the uh, slow drive. The only name that seems to be certain to be arriving at the end of the month is Cavada. But till he signs, we haven't seen anything. Uh, Roma side, Endica, no news yet. But apparently, they're set to uh, renew uh, Cristante and El Sharawi. El Sharawi, guys, was a free agent at the end of uh, June, who was set to become a free agent at the end of June. Apparently, they reached an agreement with him for him to stay. Uh, Roma was always the priority for Al Sharawi, guys. Busquets. Busquets retiring from Barcelona, but not from soccer. And he's set maybe to join his good friend Messi at Inter Miami. That would be another Corpo di Mercato for Beckham. Great for the MLS. Yes, an older player. But I think in this league, uh, he would still be a very good player. And that's it, guys. That is it for today. Lots of news. Uh, obviously, Fratesi still a big mix. Inter is said to be the favorites, but it remains to be seen. Uh, Lazio, Lazio pushing for Berardi. Maybe Torreira, but the big dream, guys, Jorginho. Sergi uh, Sari would love to see Jorginho. And 
Zielinski from Napoli. That would be incredible. Let me know what you think. Write in the comments. Like and subscribe.